Welcome out to another episode of Lean Superintendent on our YouTube channel. I'm really excited to be here with you. Today I'm going to talk about a really brief concept about comparing a critical path to a critical flow. So let's go ahead and look right here on the computer screen. We've got this recording for you and zooming in. So some people think that we have a critical path. We've heard that over and over in the industry. Critical path, critical path, critical path. Well, if you follow these arrows here in this image and you look at how it traces through activities and up through another sequence and down through another sequence, that really isn't how projects delay. A critical path basically will show you your longest path according to your logic ties. But that's actually not why projects are delayed and why they finish behind. The reason that projects delay and why they finish behind is shown up here in this image up here on top. And the reason that projects delay is because we don't have trade flow. So you remember me saying to you before that workflow is left to right, trade flow is at a diagonal where you can see crews going from area to area, and then logistical flow is the order in which the trades go from area to area. You can see this first arrow right here. This is at a decent flowable incline. Next one, pretty decent, 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 decent. And then you start to see that it starts to go vertical. These colors behind on this map represent from a CPM schedule, the color of the trade performing that work for an interiors phase of work in a building. And what you can see is here at the beginning, they had decent flow. As you get down through the phase, it doesn't have flow. And you see that trades start to stack. Now we all know that there is is limited manpower and limited worker counts and limited resources out there and that crews don't just show up out of nowhere manpower doesn't just show up out of nowhere and even if it did it takes time to onboard them onto the project so when a project is scheduled with these vertical flows thinking that you can have four five six seven eight nine ten crews stacked on top of each other that red arrow will actually become the green arrow and so when projects get behind it's because they had a fake schedule to begin with so what I'm saying is we have to have that trade flow all the way throughout going at the same pace all the way from the start of the project to the end of the project and that's how you know how long that project will actually take and so I'm not focused on the critical path which could tell me I'm looking fine and never tell me that I have a problem with trade flow what I'm looking at and I need to look at is a flow analysis or a tact plan to show me where I have problems because I know when trades stack like this that's not real and we're actually going to finish way out here so you do not have a critical path you have a critical flow and so I appreciate you watching this little video this was simply intended to spark an interest, to plant a seed, and for you to get excited about these concepts and to protect trade flow, the single most important consideration in construction because workflow and trade flow go together. Please like and subscribe and check out any of our other videos and content. We appreciate you. On we go.